My next brother right here. My next brother right here, please. My next brother right here. My next brother right here. My next brother right here. Right here. Yeah, this is cool. <laughs> are, you, are you ready for this? Yes, this is so cool. Welcome, travelers. My apologies for the wait and suddenly rushing you in like that. We wanted to take some precautions to make sure that you were the ones we were expecting for this afternoon. Safe inside, take a moment to catch your breath and take a moment to look around. I know it might not look like much at first, but trust me, there's a lot more than you see out here. Actually, I'm getting ahead of myself. Allow me to introduce our team. Over here we have Hunter, Eddie, Ian, Anna, and I'm Denny. And we humbly call ourselves the Gatherers. We do what we do in order to serve others, to help them discover their true potential within the knowledge of the Force. We travel to abandoned outposts and distant planets such as Coruscant sacred lands of Ilum, even to the hostile environment of Dathomir, to scavenge around for ancient relics or artifacts that others may not find value in. But for those of us who know what we do discover the pieces of the past and ensure a brighter future. As you see out these doors, we are living in troubled times. We received word that the First Order landed on this outpost in search of the resistance. In times like these, heroes rise and take a stand. Heroes like the legendary Luke Skywalker. And you're all familiar with the legend, yes? Excellent. And today we have a new hero, and her name is Rey. And she is that spark of hope. And just like Luke and Rey, they follow a call. And you are here on your own journey, which led you to us this afternoon to build this. The lightsaber. Wielded by the Jedi and the Sith alike, it is elegant and enigmatic. Building a lightsaber is an art form. It is a reflection of the builder. It allows the power of the force to flow between the builder and the saber. And today, we will all feel that special connection. But in order to harness this power, you need a very important element. Now begin. Welcome to our lightsaber. magnifies the power of the force that turns it into a blade. Crystal will determine the color of the blade. And today you will be provided with four different color options to choose from. First, let's begin with the blue. It was a color that was once held by many Jedi Knights in the past. That's Obi-Wan Kenobi. It's a friend of the Skywalker today. I'm by Rey. Green. Wielded by Qui-Gon Jinn. Ahsoka Tano, Master Yoda, and the legendary Luke Skywalker. Violet, a rare and beautiful color. Once held by Master Mace Windu himself. And finally, Red. It's known as the Crystal Power. Wielded by Asajj Ventress, Darth Maul, Darth Vader, and today, it's held by Kylo Ren. Those stories have already been made. Now it's time to create yours. Let's turn that we'd be providing you with canisters to make your own personal selection. Time is now, builders. The legend says don't take but act on instinct and let the crystal choose you. Once you've made your crystal selections, we'll place it in the green dish folder in front of your station to stabilize the crystal. Choose life to travel. Now it's time for your adult. So, excuse me. Can you get a picture of that kind of person? I'm going to be a 
items in front of your stations may be a bit unfamiliar to some of you, but it'll all make sense once it all comes together. So, now that you have your items, let's explore. On the left hand side of your box, that's going to be your chassis. That'll be the home of your tire person. Slots one and two are your set of sleeves. Slot three is your emitter. And slot four is your pummel. And lastly, in slot five are your matching sets of activation plates. I'll be here to walk you through the process, but if you need any assistance, our gathers are ready to help. For my builders, before we begin, I have a very important question for you all. Are you ready to build? Yes! Yeah. Yeah. Excellent, let's build. First things first, you're going to fix the chassis. You want that hollow end to face up towards the ceiling. In the center, you're going to see an opening. If you press it with your thumb, you're going to feel a spring plate. That is where you'll insert the tip of your kyber crystal. So, grab those kyber crystals and your crystal will go right in the center open slot. If centered properly, you'll see it glow and you'll also hear it make a noise. Yeah. This could be the trickiest part of the build, so if you need any assistance, please do not be afraid to ask our gatherers for help. Once the crystal is in the center, you are ready to move over to section number five. In section five, you're going to grab one matching set of activation plates. And ask to be a matching set from section five. If you look at the side of your chassis, you're going to see some color indicators. You'll see a red square and a blue right table. When you flip those pieces around, you're going to see those exact same shapes and colors. So, we're going to play matching games. The blue rectangle piece will go on the blue rectangle on the side of your chassis, just like that. And the red square piece will go on the red square on the side of your chassis. Blue on blue and red on red. Once those activation plates are in place, you're going to turn the switches on and off. Your misfire just like that. Let's hear those misfires, everybody. Which is on and off once the nitrogen plates are in place. Perfect. Push up on your switch. Push up on your switch. Okay, very good. Next one, next one. All right, I'm hearing a lot of misfires around the room, so if you're ready to move forward, we're going to move over to sections one and two. In sections one and two, you're going to see four different sleeve boxes. You can mix and match. Select any two of your favorites out of those four. Once you have your sleeves, all eyes on me for this very important step. Every sleeve has a thick ring or a thick metal band. That piece must go in first touching the activation plates, and you're going to push and twist with a lot of pressure. Remember, you can mix and match, keeping in mind that the thick metal band goes in first, one up top, and the second one up top. Any two that you want, you're going to make sure that the larger band goes in first once you get done with the ground. Three, two, one, two, three, two, one, two, three, two, 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 for my builders that are catching up, when you have both these in place, you're going to go to section 3 and grab an emitter. That means you go on the top hollow end. Once the emitter is nice and secure, you're going to go to section 4 and grab that final piece for the bottom of your hill. Which way does it go? Right there. Pull down and twist. Do the thicker band. Pass it right to screw it on top like this. For my builders who have a completed hilt, we'll place it in a hilt stand in front of your stations. The 
gather to myself will be there to inspect your work. One of your emitters for the top and then one of your end cap for the bottom. Remove it. Turn this upside down. Are we all complete? Perfect. Let's take a look. All right, builder. Builder mission is all in. Nice to meet you. We're talking about it. This will give you very close attention. When I say activate, that'll be your signal to switch up on the cue just like that. To deactivate, you're going to pull it back and you're ready to go. Good job. <laughs> That's it. That's it. What's up? And I'm almost like that. You see the word I mean? That's a sword, alright? Go ahead. And I'll take this. Hold on. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Fire. Thank you, Mr. Fire. Oh. 